there's a thing with metals as we're working in attics, commercial and residential both, called galvanic reaction. And if you get two dissimilar metals that touch each other, and there's any kind of current going through them, not the metal itself, even inside it, because it has, it will corrode through one of them. So, for instance, you have a copper line or a sprinkler, a metal sprinkler line, and you have copper or aluminum laying against it, it will eventually create a leak. It'll, it will corrode through. And I've gotten red tagged on those because I was busy on a, a, a job. He goes, ah, you need to insulate that pipe. It's like, why? It's not hot or cold. Why don't I insulate it? He goes, get that reaction, you idiot. It's like, so when you're running flex, especially when you have, which is rare anymore, but like in an older house, a copper, a copper water line of any kind, hot, cold, doesn't matter. And you have aluminum or MC laying against it, it will eventually corrode through and you'll have a water leak. Okay, the current inside there. So the point is, is you can either insulate the copper where it crosses or strap that off. But it's just another thing for me not to pay for down the road if we don't have a water leak in an attic. And it wouldn't happen right away, right? Like lights came on, we got a green tag, I'm going home. About a year later, the plumber's gonna send you a picture and say, guess what? The customer's roof was raining and here's why. We're like, that must have been another electrician. Sorry about that. <laughs> and it's with the yes. Okay.